Robin McFarland with IQ Click and IQ Plus. Today we're going to talk about finding the proper level when you start collar stimulation with your dog. Let me point out though, make sure you turn it on before you put it on the dog's neck. Match those two red dots together to activate your collar, then put it on and we're ready to go. So let me point out before we start a little bit about your equipment. I'd like to see you hold this transmitter in your right hand. You're going to keep your thumb over top the stimulation button that you're using and you're gradually going to roll this dial up as we're finding a level. I want to remind you, always start at the zero with every single dog. We don't know what they're going to feel. Some of them feel five, some of them feel 10, some of them feel 25. Start at the bottom. I'm going to show you how we're figuring out what's the right number for your dog. All right, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm letting the dog be distracted. She's sniffing the ground. I've got her on a leash. It's attached to that flat buckle collar, just like your manual points out. Now I'm gradually tapping my button to see if she notices any sensation. She's not noticing anything, she's still sniffing. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I turn that number maybe five points or so. Let's see what we got here. All of a sudden she's looking at me. I'm a little curious if maybe that's the kind of reaction that we want. She may have noticed that sensation. I'm gonna walk away from her again, tap that button. You see that? The dog did a few things. She blinked her eyes, she wiggled her ears for a moment, she paused. That tells me that she noted some sensation. So what I'm looking for is some sort of momentary pause in the dog's um, action. So she was sniffing the ground. I tapped the button, it pulled her nose up from the ground. She paused for a minute as if to say, what was that? That's the, la the action that I'm looking for in the dog. So let's try it again. I'm gonna tap the button here. Well, let me get her moving first. She's a little distracted by our cameraman. Let's get her moving. Good girl, good girl. So I'm gonna tap the button. Oh, she looked at me that time and she blinked her eyes. Those are a couple indications that she's feeling something. I'm gonna to start to walk away from her while I tap this button. Let me narrate it this way for you. I'm gonna use the word button, button, button every time that I'm pushing this. I'm gonna be moving away from her and I'm gonna stop tapping the button so you'll hear me stop narrating when she's moving toward me. That way I'm teaching her if she feels the sensation, she should follow me. All right, let's give it a try. Button, button, button. Good girl. Good girl. So I tapped the button three times. It picked her nose up. She followed me. I stopped. I'm going to see if I can get her to follow me again. Here we go. Button, button. She started following right away. So I'm going to stop tapping. She came with me. Good girl. Good girl. She's going to lay down, take a rest. Here we go again. So I'm going to move again and start to tap button, button, button. There we go. Three little taps to get her moving. Now I'm not doing anything right now because she is following me and that's all I want from her. Good girl. I'm gonna offer a little distraction. She's being pretty darn good. So I'm gonna take some food out of my pocket. I'm gonna throw it in the grass here. That's gonna be a good distraction. A lot of dogs like to sniff around on the ground. Now I need to get her attention again to get her to follow me. Let's let her get distracted. Button, button, button. You see she's really distracted. This is exactly what happens. I gotta turn that level up a little bit. There we go, so I turned it up. That number went up about 10 points there because she was so distracted by what was going on in the grass. I'm gonna try again. Button, and she walks. That time it was only one tap to get her to pay attention. Good girl, good girl. We'll go back to this nice area with the treats in the ground. So a big piece of the puzzle here, guys, is you have to have a situation where the dog is distracted a little bit. If they're just paying perfect attention to you, you're never gonna figure out if you're at the right level. We gotta have some distractions. Now, I'm gonna tap the button and see, does it change her behavior and get her to bring her head up off the ground? Tap, tap, you saw that. She tap, tap, she's distracted again. So I'm on that button. Let's go. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. That's a key thing to point out. I need you guys to remember you're looking for a change of behavior, okay? If the dog overreacts and really jumps and startles, you need to turn the level down. But if the dog continued to have her nose glued to the ground, 
then I know I need to turn it up a little bit. The whole point of this is figuring out a level that's just enough to get your dog's attention when they're distracted. That's always going to look like a perkiness with their attitude coming up because they notice the strangeness. It might cause a little bit of freezing like, oh my goodness, what was that? You might see the eye blink, that kind of thing, but you're watching for a change of behavior when you're tapping that button, okay? Once you get the change, then you start teaching the dog, what do we want you to do about it? And in this scenario, what I want her to do is follow me. 